Raymond Mfeka Misim Halaba, was an anti-apartheid activist and leader of the African National Congress ANC, also as well the first premier of the Eastern Cape. Mhalaba spent 25 years of his life in prison, well known for being sentenced, along with Nelson Mandela, Govan Becky, Walter Sisulu and others in the Rivonia trial. He was an active member of the ANC and the South African Communist Party SIF, all his adult life. His kindly manner brought him the nickname Umri. Mhalaba was born in Mazoka village in the Fort Beaufort district. Eastern Cape and was educated at Haldron Secondary School, but had to drop out because of financial problems. Mahalaba started working at a laundry in Port Elizabeth after leaving school in 1942. He met and married his first wife, Joyce Meck, who was also from the Fort Beaufort area in 1943. In their 17 years together, before her death in a car accident in 1960, they had three children Bukeka, Namlangelo and Jongin Chaba. In 1982, Mahalaba, who had been a political prisoner in Robben Island since 1964, was transferred to Pulse Moor Prison, where he received special permission to marry his common-law wife Didika Heliso in 1986, with whom he had three children Pilo, Namawethu and Rikiwu. Mahalaba started working at a laundry in Port Elizabeth after leaving school in 1942. The horrendous conditions at the laundry converted him to a trade unionist and he became the leader of non-European laundry workers union in 1943. In 1943, he joined the South African Communist Party, serving as the party's district secretary from 1946 until the party was banned in 1950. In 1944, he became a member of the African National Congress. From 1944 Mahalaba maintained dual membership of the ANC and the SIF. He rose through the ANC ranks becoming the chairman of the Port Elizabeth branch of the ANC from 1947 to 1953, and then elected to the Cape Executive Committee. Mahalaba was the first to be arrested for disobeying apartheid laws during the nationwide defiance campaign of 1952 together with Govan Becky and Vaai Silmini for three months in Rui Hell, Red Hell or North End Prison, Port Elizabeth. The campaign was launched in Port Elizabeth when Mahalaba led a group of volunteers singing freedom songs through the whites only entrance of the new Brighton railway station. This action earned him the Zosa nickname Villandlela, or he who opens the way. That same year, Mahalaba was charged under South Africa's Suppression of Communism Act. Although his political activities continued, he was barred from attending meetings or gatherings. After the ANC was banned on the 8th of April under the Unlawful Organizations Act, the party took up the armed struggle forming its military wing Umkanto Risais. Mahalaba was one of its first recruits and was sent to China for military training. Before leaving he assisted Mandela in writing the Umkanto Constitution. In 1962, Mahalaba returned to South Africa, becoming a commander of the MK after Nelson Mandela's arrest. On the 11th of July 1963 the South African apartheid government raided the ANC's underground headquarters in Rivonia, north of Johannesburg. Mahalaba and ten other ANC and SIC leaders including Ahmed Kathrada, Walter Sisulu and Govan Becky were arrested and Nelson Mandela was already in prison. They were charged with sabotage and conspiracy to overthrow the government. On the 9th of October 1963, the world-famous Rivonia trial with all the accused charged with high treason. On the 12th of June 1964, Mahalaba, Mandela and six other ANC leaders were sentenced to life imprisonment, and all were sent to Robben Island, but the white Dennis Goldberg was sent to Pretoria Central Prison instead of Robben Island. During his time in Robben Island, Mahalaba and other ANC members founded the ANC High Command or High Organ with Mandela as its head. The committee educated and supported younger imprisoned members formulated policies on day-to-day -day concerns, prisoners' complaints, and strikes, and enforced discipline within their isolation unit. Looking back at their time in Robben Island Mandela said of Mahalaba, I got to know him as the peacemaker. He spent a lot of time urging fellow prisoners to forget their differences and unite so that conditions for prisoners could improve. After his release from prison on the 15th of October 1989, he was elected to the ANC National Executive and the South African Communist Party Central Committee. He became National Chairperson of the SIGF in 1995. In January 1994 he was chosen as the ANC's nominee as Premier of the Eastern Cape.
and in May 1994 he was elected to that post. He helped to establish the House of Traditional Leaders. He then became the High Commissioner to Uganda and Rwanda, until he retired in 2001. In April 2001 he released a book of his memoirs, narrated by him and researched and compiled by them Bika Matthew Mahdi. He was chairperson of a black economic empowerment consortium involved in the Koga Port project, but suffered a stroke on the 19th of July 2003, recovering quickly. In 2004, Mhalaba was diagnosed with advanced liver cancer, and in December doctors discharged him from a private clinic saying there was nothing they could do for him. On the 20th of February 2005 he died in hospital. He was granted state funeral on the 27th of February 2005. Mhalaba is survived by his wife Didika Heliso, three sons and five daughters. Mhalaba is seen as a stalwart member of both the Ank and the Sikf. He was recognized with the Asitwaland Medal in 1992 for his role in the liberation struggle, and the Moses Cotton Award in 2002 for his contribution to the Sikf. The Mkankobi local municipality which includes Alice and Mahalaba's hometown Fort Beaufort was renamed the Raymond Mahalaba local municipality and Andres Pretorius Street, the R30 in Bloem Fontaine was renamed after Raymond Mahalaba to honor him. There's an Ankh branch named after him in Pumalanga, Nkangala region, sub-region Silhani Ward 11 in Verena. I would end here and continued in my next episode. Kindly subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to leave your comments.